I think we still have a long ways to go. Um, you know, obviously we're not where we want to be, and we left a lot out there, but we still, you know, we really had over 500 yards of offense and had a couple sacks that we're not happy about. Uh, but some of those weren't really on, you know, our offensive line. It was on the scheme we were running and the type of pass protection we had called. And uh, those are correctable things. So that's the good news. Uh, it's not like we were just getting beat. And uh, so we're hoping to correct the mistakes and get better. Auburn has given up some, some pretty big plays on the ground this year. They've had problems stopping the run. It, it, do you see that on film? And, and how do you try to take advantage of that as an offensive line, particularly as a center? Well, I mean, you know, from what we've seen on film, they're a very athletic group. And, you know, they got some of the guys they had last year. But they also got a lot of younger guys stepping in. And uh, they're a team that's getting better every week they play, too. So it's going to be a good challenge for us. But, you know, we had over 200 yards rushing last week and hope to do the same this. this you guys week. like this kind of matchup, you know, the out-of-conference game against a, you know, a named opponent uh, this early in the season before you start the conference play? Yeah, I mean, it really doesn't matter. But, you know, anytime we play a, a big game like this, I think everybody gets fired up. And uh, like I said, we're, we've struggled to win two games, so we're just hoping to get better and put on a good show. How would you evaluate the offensive lines play through two weeks and we look at it back on as a whole? Uh, you know, it hasn't been where we want. Uh, I think everybody's kind of been disappointed with us, and they should be. I mean, we're supposed to be the core group on this team. we got the most experience and, you know, the most mat maturity coming back. And, uh, you know, we haven't performed where, where we want to. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with our preparation. I don't know if it's guys getting complacent or what, but, you know, last year we would be up here 24-7, it seemed like, you know, just in the film room watching on our own. And um, we always knew what to expect. And this year I think we've kind of, I get, I'd hate to use the word complacent. I don't think we've gotten complacent. But, you know, we're just kind of doing what we have to do to get by. And I think it's starting to catch up with us. And I think everybody's going to be a lot more focused this week. As, as a leader, do you, you kind of we guys, you guys, like you and Lane and David, they've been around a while. Do you tell them, get in here, watch more film, prepare better? How do, how do you go about that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, the good thing about it is, you know, we're a pretty mature group, and uh, you don't really have to call anybody out. They they understand. They know what's at stake. And I think this week, you know, being the Auburn game, as much hype as it's getting, they understand how big a deal it is. And they know what we've done in the past two weeks isn't acceptable. Chad Morris thought that maybe this new scheme and the offensive line coach, that sort of thing, but you guys are thinking on the field, maybe that slowing aggression and that sort of thing. You think there's anything to that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think that's a huge part of it. And I think that's why guys need to get in here more and watch more film and take more of an ownership role. Because, you know, NCAA only allows us 20 hours a week. And if you only do that, you're not going to be very good. you got to spend a lot of time uh, to be great. And um, like I said, last year we were always very prepared, and it might have been because we were, you know, so used to our system. And this year is completely different ball game, completely different blocking assignments, pass protections, and um, you know, for us, we got to come in here and get familiarized with that because it changes each week. And uh, you know, for us, I think when we're playing slow and playing tentative, that's when you you see us get beat. And uh, when we know what we're doing, we know what to expect. We go out there and play fast. We're a pretty good group. How much has the loss at Auburn last year stuck with you? I mean, it was very disappointing. Um, but, you know, I, I think at the same time it was kind of bittersweet because we know we can play with anybody in the country. They went on to win the national championship. Um, we just got to find a way to finish the job. But it gave us a lot of confidence. Does it seem crazy to you as closely contested as that game was, sort of the differences in their season versus y'all's season? Yeah, definitely. I think if you go back and look at it, I mean, it's obvious that they went on to win several close games, you know, at the very end. And we lost several games close to the end. I think that was a big momentum swing for each team. Is that something when you lose a close game or two, you know, when you get in another one, it's almost like a here we go again kind of deal? In a sense, I mean, I think it kind of sticks in the back of your mind, but I don't really think that anybody's saying here we go again. I think we have a we had a very mature group last year. You know, this year we got a lot of guys that have never been in this situation playing a ton of freshmen. And uh, we're trying to kind of lead them down the right path and hopefully they'll never have to get in that situation. Do you think a game such as Saturday is kind of maybe the impetus this group needs to really get fired up? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think if we can go out there and have a good week of preparation, like we had a great practice yesterday, you know, one of the most focused practices I've ever seen. I think everybody's starting to kind of understand you know, we can't just keep doing what we've been doing because it's not working. And um, you say that we had 500 yards of offense and we're disappointed. But, you know, that's, that's the kind of mentality we have. It's never going to be good enough. We're just trying to get better each and every week. What kind of progress have you seen with Taj from week one to week two? 
I think he's starting to get a lot more comfortable in the pocket. Uh, you know, week one he was scrambling a little bit, you know, even when the pass uh, protection wasn't breaking down. And this week he really did a good job of just staying patient, taking what was there. Um, he admits he's got to do better with his check downs, but I thought he did a great job last week. And uh, he's only going to get better with experience. That's something you just can't coach. Does this feel anything like last year where you face Middle Tennessee and a couple teams that you may not have prepared for as much what they do, and so they throw a lot of different wrinkles at you? You guys come under fire, and then you came out against Auburn after you'd been challenged, you know, had the physicality thing challenged, right. came out and, and responded to that. Yeah, I think there's some similarities, um, but for the most part, I think it's just on us and preparation wise, because as I mentioned earlier, you can't just do the minimum to get by and be pretty good. You got to do a lot more on your own. And, um, and guys prepare different ways. You know, I'm the kind of guy that likes to sit in there by myself and really break down everything. And, uh, you know, there's some other guys that like to sit down as a group on our own without a coach and be able to really talk things through. And whatever it is that works for them, we got to start doing it because what we've done, you know, is not quite where we need to be. How does it make you feel oh, when you guys are big, 6'5", 300-pound guys, you're 400-pound benchers, you're veterans, seniors, and all these people are saying, well, they're not tough and they're not physical. And Chad Moore said yesterday they're spending, he can't add new layers to the offense because they're spending so much time coaching toughness. It's it's obviously very frustrating. I mean, we we don't believe it. You know, we don't buy into all those things. Um, you know, we're the same team that went down to Auburn last year and had them beat 17 to nothing. And you know, we're hanging in there physically. I'm not going to say we were physically dominating them, but we were we were handling ourselves pretty well. And um, you know, we try not to buy into that stuff too much. We know what we can do. And when we start playing normal defense and start opening up our offensive package. And we feel comfortable with what we're doing. I think you'll see the group that, you know, we haven't changed. It's the same group of guys, and I think you'll start to see that. If there's a fourth and one that's always from Saturday, you line up, you believe you're going to make that fourth and one. No doubt. I mean, I feel like that every time we line up. I think you've got to have that confidence. And, uh, you know, there's just been two or three little things here and there, and that, some of that has to do with, you know, the first couple games of the season. But, you know, it's on us now, and that has to change. So you feel like the better you know this offense, the faster you'll be able to play, essentially? Is that kind of what the correlation is? Yeah, definitely. You can't play this game hesitant or tentative, uh, you know, making a mistake or, well, maybe I got to do this, maybe I got to do that. You got to go up and just line up and play. And uh, like I said, that all comes from preparation and getting guys in there and just being confident that they know what they're doing and they know their job. Those Taj Hanlon, maybe addressed this already, but production calls and that sort of thing as a young quarterback. Yeah, he's done well. I mean, the good thing about this offense is he really doesn't have to do too much as far as changing the protections and stuff like that. So he's he's getting better when he does have to do it. And uh, I think it all comes from experience. And he, he was 100 times better week two than he was week one just because he was a lot more relaxed and more composed. And I think he's only going to get better as we go. How are your responsibilities different in pass protection in this offense? And they're still basically the same. I mean, I'm still kind of in charge of making the, the key points and setting the blocking schemes and stuff like that. But for the most part, we're so fast that everybody kind of has to know what we're doing. And uh, when we get in the rhythm and we're rolling, I'm not going to be able to sit down there and make all the points and, you know, watch out for this kind of blitz, like stuff like that. So I think once we get in the rhythm, everybody's going to be playing a lot faster and a lot more physical. So the transition hasn't been that much more difficult for you than, say, any of the other guys on the offensive line as far as having to make the calls or whatever? Right, yeah. I mean, football is still football. And, you know, for me, it, it really hasn't changed that much. I'm still doing what I've always done. Without, um, you know, taking anything away from the first two opponents, is there a, you know, different feel to this game, defending national champion coming in? I think so. I mean, we try to approach every game the same, and uh, every game's a Super Bowl for us. But this one, obviously, you can tell there's just a buzz around campus. There's a buzz in the Clemson Nation, and everybody's pretty pumped up, and we are as well. I mean, you know, nobody's beaten them for the past 17 games, so it's a great opportunity for us to just go out there and try to get better. Is there any element of, you know, it gets asked every year for a big non-conference game, but a matter of conference pride, particularly with the ACC and kind of beating its reputation has taken over the years? Yeah, definitely. I think the ACC has a great chance this year to kind of reestablish themselves, you know, with Florida State playing Oklahoma and us playing Auburn and several other big games such as that for us to kind of put ourselves back on the map because we have been slipping the past couple of years and, you know, it'd be nice to kind of earn some of that respect back. Thanks, Tom. So I can get into one here.